welcome on in guys and welcome to another video this time a quick start guide and uh, a little help along video for the ch47 foxtrot so let's jump straight on in and uh, get this puppy started right so first things first we're gonna come to our overhead panel and up on the left here we have got our battery power we're gonna turn that on we are then going to turn on the APU. So we're going to flick this switch down one. So left click, we're going to leave it there for about five seconds. Then we're going to left click again and hold for two seconds to, uh, to the start position. There we go, we can hear the APU starting up. We should get a APU ready light when it's uh, providing power. We'll turn on the APU gen. We're then going to see that our uh, displays are all going to come on here. Okay, we're going to stick this over to instrument. If you press it again, you'll get your fuel status uh, and whatnot. So let's uh, keep to our engine page. And uh, the uh, main numbers that we're going to be concerned with for startup is NG. So let's put the condition levers into the ground position. We're going to turn on the fuel, we're going to turn on the cross feed, and we're going to turn on this backup power switch. Okay, so we have the engine start one and two, left click for one, right click for two. So we are going to press and hold and we're going to watch our NG numbers. So left click and hold. And our NG numbers are rising at 12%. We can release. There we go. Engine 1 is starting. And we have rotor RPM as well. And when it stabilizes, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for engine number two. Okay, we are stable, so right click and hold. And at 12% we can release. And release. Engine two starting. Should really have turned on fuel pumps for that side as well. Okay, now that that is stable, we can put the condition levers into the fully forward flight position. RPMs are rising and they will stabilize. Okay, we can go ahead and turn on the engine generators. We can turn off APU gen and AP, APU gen. Uh, the APU it, itself. Uh, we're going to turn on the rest of the pumps. And we're going to turn off crossfeed. And that is engine started. We're going to go ahead and wear that master caution. And then we're going to turn on our system select switch to both. And that is it, pretty much ready for flight. Okay, we're going to have a quick look at the CDU here. So we can go ahead and turn on the power to the RWR. And it's very much like the Apache RWR in the uh, information that it'll give you. Uh, we also have our countermeasures, we can arm them here. And leave it on normal or bypass, we're going to put it on to bypass so we have control of it. We points. Let's have a look see. Let's find ourselves a position on the map. Let's uh, just select here. And we are going to go into flight plan. And I believe this is going to be our initial position, but I'm going to clear that just now so we don't have anything in here. So we're going to go flight plan management. Let's erase the flight plan. 
uh, and it uses a lot long decimal minutes so we are going to put in our northern which is going to be 3146 Decimal six six nine, and we're going to put in our easterly, which is going to be zero six four one three decimal nine zero nine. And we're going to put that, it's going to be our first uh, waypoint, so we're going to put that in on the end. Okay, so if we actually have a look at the HSD and turn on the moving map, now we won't see that information yet. But if we go to overlay and we go to flight plan, it's going to put our flight plan, we will see the line, but we would need to actually, to set a direct to, we need a present position. So what we're going to do is go ahead and press mark, and it's going to put this in the scratch pad down the bottom, our present position, so we're going to go back to flight plan. And we're going to put that ahead of the last uh, waypoint that we put in, so we're going to actually click on that position so then that will make that position we entered our last waypoint so let's do that there we go and now if I do a direct to our uh, waypoint it should give us a, a waypoint line so let's go ahead and do that so let's select direct to and we're going to select that waypoint that we want to head to and there we go it's got us a waypoint so we've got a waypoint line for that now And that is it. Nice and simple. Uh, we can come on to decenter and it will uh, give us a bit more of the map to look at. We can also change this to, I believe, we can put a range ring so we can get a range ring so it's going to give us a, a rough guide of how far away we are from things. Uh, what else can we do here? We can also. Uh, we can also, also, also. Uh, we should be able to change the map to north up as well. There we go, north up. That's the one I prefer, I like uh, having north up and then it makes the map a little uh, better to understand for me. Again, you can uh, put on the map on this side as well. Overlay, you can also put your flight plan if you so wish to have it there while you're having a look at, say, your instruments. So that's it, guys. Nice and simple. She is ready to go. And, uh, yeah, it's been a really good release for the, uh, the Chinook. Hopefully more exciting things to come for it. Anyway guys, hopefully you have enjoyed the video, hopefully it has been helpful, and yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next one. So, thank you very much for watching, greatly appreciate it, and yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next one. So thank you for watching, bye for now.